A ram air turbine, RAT, is a small turbine that is installed in an aircraft and used as an alternate or emergency hydraulic, or electrical power source. The RAT generates power from the air stream based on the speed of the aircraft and is connected to an electrical generator or to a hydraulic pump. In general, modern aircraft only utilize the RAT in emergency, either in the event of loss of hydraulic systems or following the loss of primary electrical generation. In these cases the RAT will power vital systems such as flight controls or flight critical instrumentation, navigation, and communication equipment. Some RATs produce only hydraulic power which in turn is used to power an electrical generator. Under normal conditions, the RAT is stowed in a compartment in the fuselage or wing. It can be deployed manually when required or, in some installations, will deploy automatically following a complete loss of AC power. In the interval between power loss and RAT deployment, aircraft batteries are used to power essential instrumentation. To provide additional redundancy, each system is provided with at least two pressure sources, including engine-driven pumps, electric pumps, a ram air turbine, or RAT, and a power transfer unit, or PTU. The blue system includes a reservoir and an accumulator. It is unique in that its primary pressure source is an electric pump. This electric pump activates automatically after the first engine is started. A pump driven by a RAT pressurizes the blue system if normal sources of electrical power are not available. The PTU cannot pressurize the blue system. Next, we move on to the backup pressure source for the blue system, the RAT. The dropout RAT is coupled to a hydraulic pump that allows the blue system to function if electrical power is lost or both engines fail. The RAT deploys automatically if AC bus 1 and AC bus 2 are lost. It can also be deployed manually using a push button on the overhead panel. In addition to providing blue system pressure, the RAT also provides hydraulic pressure to drive an emergency generator if necessary. The emergency generator is discussed in the electrical system lesson. In this example, the RAT is in its normal stowed condition. In this example, the RAT is deployed. If the RAT is not available or fails, it is displayed in amber. The RAT can only be stowed by maintenance personnel when the aircraft is on the ground. Finally, we can discuss the RAT. The primary purpose of the RAT is to pressurize the blue system. The RAT man on push button is used to extend the RAT for hydraulic purposes only. Hydraulic pressure provided by the RAT can only be used to drive an emergency generator. The RAT extends automatically in flight if the AC bus 1 and AC bus 2 are lost. The purpose of the RAT man on push button panel is to manually extend the RAT to pressurize the blue system without activating the emergency generator. This is only required if the blue electric pump is lost and one of the other hydraulic systems has also failed. In this example, the green system has been shut down due to a reservoir overheat and the blue electric pump has also failed. The ECAM has directed that the RAT be extended to pressurize the blue system. Using the RAT man on push button on the hydraulic panel extends the RAT to pressurize the blue system. The emergency generator will not be activated. Go ahead and lift the guard and push the RAT man on push button to deploy the RAT for hydraulic purposes only. The RAT can be extended one of three ways. Automatically, due to a loss of AC bus 1 and 2, in that case the RAT provides blue hydraulic pressure and the hydraulically driven emergency generator activates automatically. A second way for the RAT to extend, by pushing the RAT man on push button on the hydraulic panel. In that case, the RAT only provides blue hydraulic pressure. And finally, a third way for the RAT to extend by pushing the man on push button on the emergency electrical power panel. In that case, the RAT provides blue hydraulic pressure and the hydraulically driven emergency generator activates. And that concludes the controls and indicators section.